Hey yo interneters, welcome back to another ballet song video and so suggested by one of you we're going to be learning how to do the Y2K roll. And so for those of you who do not know what the Y2K rolling is, here's a quick clip of the Y2K rolling. And so before we get into learning how to do the Y2K rolling, we kind of got to know how the Y2K rolling works. So here's a quick explanation of it. So to do the Y2K rollover, you want to hold the butterfly knife by the, on the bike handle. And then from there, you'll flick your knife down. And as you're flicking the knife down, you'll have momentum. And this momentum will carry the knife to spin around your thumb and then all the way around and you'll catch it on the opposite handle from the bite handle and the momentum will still be carrying the knife over your index finger and then from there you will just flick it back and it'll come back into your hand and so now that we know the mechanics of the y2k rolling let's just get right into learning it okay so this is the first day of me attempting the y2k rollover for the ballet song got the butterfly knife right here so let's go that, that didn't go too well. I'm just confused at how you're supposed to hold this. Okay, wrong way. R wrong way. And so that pretty much sums up day one of learning the Y2K rollover. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just messing. So I spent about an hour practicing the Y2K rollover on the first day, and I had a lot of issues. And one of the main issues was actually trying to get the knife to spin over my thumb. And so surprisingly, by the end of day one, I was able to do the Y2K rollover. And I'm not sure how and why because I was still struggling a little bit with having the consistency of getting the knife to roll over my thumb and also catching it. But nonetheless, I was able to still do the Y2K rollover. And so now the question is, how was I able to do the Y2K rollover by the end of day one every so often? What changed? What did I do different? And I'm pretty sure practicing for an hour and developing the comfortability of actually doing the trick had something to do with it. So there were two things that I changed that helped me do the Y2K rollover. And the first thing that I did was actually how I held the knife in the beginning. In the beginning, when I was learning the Y2K rollover, I placed my index finger and my thumb pretty much more towards the halfway point of the butterfly knife and this wasn't good because based on my experience when holding the knife by the half roughly around the halfway point of the butterfly knife when you're flicking the knife there's a lot of room right here and so when a knife is coming around your thumb there's a lot of weight then up here and it will just cause the knife to fly off your thumb and not fully rolling around and so in this clip of me being able to do the Y2K rollover, I held the knife more towards the end with my index finger on one side and my thumb on directly on the opposite of my index finger. And so the second thing that I changed to help me do the Y2K rollover was that I bent my wrist a little bit more upward. And by me doing this and when I flick the knife down, it gives the knife more momentum to go around and over my thumb. And so since I wasn't able to do the Y2K rollover consistently and smoothly, that means we still gotta go and practice a little bit more. So this is day two of learning the Y2K rollover and we'll just get right into it. On day two of learning the Y2K rollover, I, it was just purely practice. And what I mean by that, I just kept repeating and attempting to do the Y2K rollover over and over and over again so that I can develop muscle memory and get used to actually getting the knife to go over my thumb more consistently and smoothly and also getting used to the adjustments that I made. And so by the end of day two, I was able to comfortably do the Y2K rollover. And here's a clip of me doing the Y2K rollover three times in a row. So I'm sure you saw that I added a little bit of something else towards the Y2K rollover and that's pretty much the 
first ballet song trick that I learned. And, I'll, and if you want to learn how to do it, I'll leave a link for you up here to click on. And so I spent the total of two hours and 33 minutes in learning how to do the Y2K rollover. And before we close off the video, I want to show you the Y2K rollover in different angles. So that's pretty much all I have for today. And if you enjoyed the video, you can show it by hitting the like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time.